set up inside the local community college. The GCC Show and Sell event is a student bazaar, almost like a pop-up shop or a little flea market is like what I like to think of it for myself. Student coordinator Jeffrey McCoy talks to us about the second ever show and sell event. Partnering with the students from the college's business and visual communications department, offering aspiring business owners from all over an opportunity to bring exposure to their small businesses, showcasing and selling their products. It's really nice that we are able to support our students like this and have give them a place to like really showcase their art and their creativity and their business just so they can get started and like uh, get up off the ground. For students like visual comms major Elizabeth Picklesmeyer, her art is her business. I do a lot of like uh, portraits of different characters from like movies and TV shows so I thought I could like turn it into stickers because a lot of people are fans of certain like shows. This is actually the first time like I started this. It was actually my teacher who told me I should start doing this. Event presenter Sean Michael Davis, owner of studio Tayo Guam, says it's a great way for young business owners to learn new skills that will help them grow for years to come. With this event, not only are they selling their crafts to get a little used to how to be in a business, they're now getting familiar with like talking to people, uh, networking, advertising themselves. So yes, this can definitely help them in the long run. Along with giving them each a head start, McCoy adds it also promotes and emphasizes the buy local mindset. There's a lot of talent on this island and it gets like overshadowed by a lot of uh, bigger businesses on island and it's not even from here. And I think it's just really good to support local in general. That way our economy kind of grows itself. And a growing contribution to the community for more than one dozen student-owned shops that participated. Julian Hernandez, KUAM News.